Hello, my friends, and welcome to my experiment. This was to test out an impartially cloudy overcast day to see what the PV200 versus the uh, Rich Solar SIGS uh, 160 watt panel um, comes out. So here are the tests, and uh, we'll come back for the results and the commentary. Testing the SIGS panel, 160 watt versus 200 watt, what it is on a cloudy overcast day. Is the SIGS technology cut out what it to be? 40 watts with this kind of sun. Blue Eddy, is the Blue Eddy 50 watts with this kind of, kind of sun. Overcast day, plugging in OP on the six panel. We're getting 57 watts. Okay. Now, testing with the same conditions, the 200 watt Blue Eddy. Okay. Same lighting conditions. We get higher from the Blue Eddy up to 80. Test two. Six. Forty-five watts. Okay. Blue Eddy. Sixty-three watts. Forty-five watts. I've just seen it go up as high as a hundred in a good sun. So forty-four watts with this overcast. This is the six panel. Now, let's test the Blue Eddy in the same condition. Fifty-two. Thirty-one watts with this overcast condition. That's on the six panel. Now, Blue Eddy. 29 watts in the overcast condition. This is the setup. This is the sun conditions. And let's see one more. We're getting 40, 40 watts with this overcast sky. Putting this in here. We're getting about 47 on the 200 watt Blue, Blue Eddy panel. Okay. All right, my friends. So I set it up with the kickstand with the way that this panel is meant to work. And with even a more overcast day, we're getting uh, on the Blue Eddy, no, this is on the six panel, we're getting 29 watts here. Yeah, this is the unfair comparison. And now the Blue Eddy. Let's see the Blue Eddy. I was actually getting zero before when I was getting 25 watts out of the Blue Eddy with the kickstand on. 44 watts. 41, 42. So that's with the kickstand. And this guy plug him back in. Plug in the six. This is getting 42. Wow. So that guy with the kickstand was getting as much as that. But at some point, I was actually getting zero generation with this light. But one more test. So we're getting 30. Let's see what the six does. Oh, that was the six. 30. Now, blue 80.
All right, my friends. This is my conclusion of one to one with these solar panels lying down flat. We have to understand also is that this one comes with kickstands. Uh, so it's meant to be actually angled towards the sun. So possibly you would get much more power generation when you're angled correctly and possibly get a higher wattage. But this one is meant to be lying flat all the time. So um, we had to do them side by side in the same general area with the same power station. So what well, my conclusion is this, is that this 160 watt panel and this 200 watt panel, they're producing with, within about 10 watts um, electricity um, difference. So, so this, is the, this is the condition. It's generating right now 47 watts on the six panel. And now let's see the blue eddy. This is the last of the tests. Blue eddy. Sun's still the same. I'm getting 52. So when lying flat, um, they're generating about the same amount of electricity. So maybe the ideal setup in order to get the most out of the lower sun, see it's going up now. The sun just went up. Now we're up to 50 watts. So possibly these two guys, you might want to get two of these guys in parallel to combine the wattages together so that in even in low light conditions, by over paneling to 320 watts, perhaps you could get between uh, 80 and 100 per hour. And this guy is also good too. Both panels are the best of the best, I would say. This one has the partial shading technology. So if you cover up one of the panels here, uh, it's still going to produce a lot less. I mean, it's, it's still going to produce the amount that it's actually open because it bypasses the, the, the things. Not all solar panels have that. But the benefit of the flat lying one is that you don't have to move it around. So you attach it to a place that's sunny where it's always getting sun without the shades. And um, perhaps this one might produce more. And also think about it also the compactness. Uh, the 200 watt is slightly longer, but they're very comparable in size with the technology. So perhaps, like, so if we line up these two solar panels together, right? Solar panel to solar panel. The length is pretty much three quarters of that. This one is also a little bit skinnier. This one is a little bit wider. Um... So my conclusion is this, flat mounting, this one's probably better because of the overcast conditions and it's, it's lighter, you could, it has a little tape backing so you could actually attach it to something. Um, but this one overall is nice because it has a little pouch on the back, it folds up nice, the suitcase is easier to carry. This one is like kind of like a set it and forget it situation where you put it in on like a flat surface to get sun and you'll be generating but probably you might want two because you want maximum power generation all right my friends let me know what you think about this video i would also i also ordered the uh, amazon miyaso 50 watt panels four of them uh the thing about those is that they're a slightly lower voltage 13 volts and i'm planning to put them in parallel um, but we'll see, will that get better low lighting performance? But right now, this is the end of this test of an, an overcast day of power generation of the monocrystalline panel over there, the Blue Eddy PV200 and the Rich Solar SIGS 160 panel. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumb it up and let me see what other tests you guys have. You know, the, the, this panel I've noticed before in bright sun, when I tilted upwards to the, you know, use the kickstands, I've gotten as high as 165 watts. We also have to understand the limitations of um, the banks, the, the power banks. Like for example, this one has an eight amp limit and can do up to 30 volts. So we have an 18 volt and an 18 volt, about 18 to 19 each. So we have to understand this. We have a limited capacity of the ampage of eight amps depending on the voltage so 
when you have um, the, the full ampage, you could still, out of the 200 watt panel with eight amps at 19 volts, maybe get 160 watts. Um, you know, facing nicely with the kickstand. So that's the benefit of that one. Because once you put the kickstands up, it might be better, but then you might want to move around the panel. But this one with the partial shading technology is also good because if anything, if we get, if we get one or two panels shaded, it's okay, it's still gonna generate electricity. So it's a give and take depending on your use case. What's cool about this one is apparently it's more susceptible, unsusceptible to um, um, the angle. So because what we're doing is we're, we're having 160 watt as opposed to 200 producing almost the same amount of electricity. So what that means is that um, it doesn't have to be tilted as good towards the sun as the other panel in order to produce almost the same amount of electricity. So I guess the angle that the sun hits it uh, generates power better on the CIGS panel. Um, I made a previous video um, with this that if you like, for example, let's do a shading test, right? So turn this on. So right now it's doing 30 watts, right? So 30 watts. I'm putting my hand over here. I'm getting 27 watts. Okay. What if I put it over here? 28 watts. 26 watts. 25 watts. All right. So I remember in yesterday's test when I shaded the, the previous day's test where I shaded that bottom portion and it stopped generating electricity. Perhaps it's a little bit of a different story if you shade this portion. Um, so perhaps when you're mounting it, you want this portion to be always in the sunlight and not getting any shade on it. And this one will be okay if it did get a little bit of shade on it with all these controllers and things like this. So let's see. Power generation, 42 watts with this overcast sky. And now last time we're gonna plug in the Blue Eddy. The Blue Eddy PV200 panel. Oh, uh, the sun just went up a little bit. Seventy-seven, seventy-four, seventy-one, seventy, and then back again to the PV two hundred. Getting only twenty watts. So I guess it also depends on the you know clouds how they're moving in the sky, whether there's a little break in there. All right, my friends, this is my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thumb it up. Hit the bell and uh, feel great today and uh, do what makes you happy, my friends. Bye-bye.